And now for something much more serious. Imagine you're driving down the motorway and suddenly see a car that's broken down. You slam the brakes on, but you can't stop in time. Smash! You've piled into it, still travelling at 50 miles an hour. Would you rather be sitting in the front of the car or the back? Common sense would dictate to be as far away from the point of impact as possible, i.e. here in the back. That way you've got no dashboard or steering wheel to smash your head into. You've got no engine to burst through onto your chest and you've definitely got no pedals or wheels to come up through the footwell and wrap around your legs. But all the cutting edge technology is here in the front, airbags to cushion your head, seatbelt pretensioners to keep you firmly in place. Bizarrely, all this equipment perhaps makes it safer to be closer to the point of the impact. The truth is, nobody really knows. So today I'm going to conduct my own test to find out, because we should all know whether the front or rear seat is safest. This Ford Focus, a modern 4 Euro NCAP star car, is going to be propelled into a solid block at 50 miles an hour, the kind of speed you might be carrying on the motorway, having slammed on the brakes. Inside the car will be two passengers, well, dummies, one in the front and one in the back. Now, what happens to these two on impact could make you seriously think about where you and your loved ones sit in a car. There's no precedent for what's going to happen. Even the experts here at the crash test lab vary in their opinions of whether the front or the back will be safer. Paul has conducted crash tests here at Millbrook Proving Ground for 11 years. Where would you rather be, the front or the back? I have a lot of information on how the dummy will perform in the front, and yeah. an occupant, I have very little information how it performs in the rear, so I'd probably play safe and go for the front. As the technicians secured the dummies and set up the enormous winch, I retired to a safe distance. The more I've been doing this and preparing, I've been getting a bit paranoid, thinking, I've been putting people in the back of my car, friends and family, thinking that's the most relaxing, luxurious position to be in. But actually, it might not be the safest. So, where would you sit? It's time for some hardcore research. See the dust from the airbag still. Yes, yes, to keep away from that, it's not the nicest of stuff. But you can see the pedal intrusion. The, the thing that concerns me here is this pedal is, is rigid. Yeah. It's absolutely solid and it's gone into the tibia. Sort of the shin. I'm just looking at the steering wheel, it's ah, oh, that's, that's not so good. That lower rim has contacted the dummy's chest. Which that's, is why it's bent. Yeah, yeah. To bend the rim on your ribs. Uh, it's uh, painful. <laughs> but what about the rear passenger? On the face of it, this guy looks like he's had a better ride than this one. Yes, yeah, on the face on of the it. On the face but, of but it. You can see the stretch on the belt. Yeah, there. you can see there's quite a whiplash mark on the, on yes. the T-shirt. Yes. Look at that. Yes, very Really, look, it's dug right into its false skin. If it does that on the, the, the skin, then what it does to your That's quite chest heavy skin. going, isn't it? Looking at it fresh on the scene now, yeah. which do you think is the safest occupant? This one, this one? I'd like to look at the films first. I'd like to see how the dummy behaved in the test. In slow motion, you can see the airbag cushioning the driver, but this can't prevent the bottom half of the steering wheel and the pedals causing bone-breaking injuries. For the chap in the front, this collision could have been fatal. The passenger in the back is catapulted forwards and cops a face full of knee. He would have suffered severe whiplash, but our experts concluded his injuries were much less severe than those suffered by the man in the front. In this test, despite there being no airbag, the back seat was safest. 
But our experts also agreed that the scenario could be reversed in newer cars. Airbags are getting more and more sophisticated, and stronger crash structures mean pedals are less likely to break your legs, so drivers are becoming ever more protected. And while the bulkier structures of modern front seats may be better at preventing whiplash for the driver, their sturdier construction means they're more dangerous for those hitting them from behind. The message is clear. The front of a car is getting safer, while the rear is not. And unless this changes, perhaps with the introduction of rear airbags, those sitting the furthest away from a collision could soon be in the most danger.